Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page two, page two. So this is from the 8x8 collection. As you can see, this is um, a nice, beautiful bridge. Um, I, I, it says Brooklyn Bridge, but I think it is. Um, anyways, what I did was cut along the bridge, and I'm going to create a pocket out of this. So I laid this in, I traced it, and then fussy cut it out. So that is going to be the pocket. So it's nine inches across. And then let's see, how deep is it? It's about six and a half inches deep. But I just started with eight and a half by 11, turned it um, sideways, trimmed it to nine. And then I went ahead and scored all three sides and then laid this in, traced it, and then fussy cut it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add this to page two right at the bottom just like so <clears throat> this is such a perfect uh, image to do um, a unique pocket with I really uh, like the way that turned out Okay, now go ahead and add this. <clears throat> and then the top half will be behind the pocket. So you have a complete image when the pocket is empty. Whoops. And I can see I've got some pencil marks I need to come back in. Erase. That went on a little bit crooked. So I left. It's a little too far to one side. Good grief, I can't get under it. That dried so fast. I'm going to nudge this over a bit. <clears throat> now that I can see all my edges. Good grief. I can't see very well today. I need, probably need to clean my glasses, but there we go. Let's try that one more time. I know I dry fit at first, so there we go. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> and now we're going to tuck this just ever so slightly into the pocket. A uh, trick is when you're going to do a pocket with a full image, even though you have to cut a, <clears throat> a sliver off the sides to fit on the 8x8 panel, don't cut the height. And then you'll wind up with just a slight, um, an eighth of an inch that you can uh, tuck into the pocket. It still works even if you cut both sides, trim both sides, but. There we go, there's our whole Brooklyn Bridge. And then I did two inserts. Um, I put a little charm here. If you buy the collections from us, we always send the, some uh, accompanying coordinating charms. And this is one of the, um, the wood sh wooden shapes that comes with the collection that I'll be using in, the, in this project. And just so you know, this is seven by four and a quarter, seven by four and a quarter, and this small one is three by five, three by five. So these make for good journaling and photo. And of course you can put more in here, but I'm gonna start with these cause I only on page two 
and I want to make sure I have enough of the large size um, papers left to do the rest of the pages. So that is page, and these were scraps that I had left from previous designs, uh, designed pages. So that is page two. I'll be back soon with page three. Thanks, everyone.